two certifications, one choice. The CompTIA Security Plus or the Google Cyber Security Certificate. Which one will actually get you hired in 2025 if you're looking to break into cyber security? Now, if you've been stuck in this decision, don't worry, you're not alone. In fact, this is one of the main questions I've been asked by career changers and aspiring cyber pros this year. Hey everyone, I'm Luke, a recruiter with over 14 years experience in recruitment and career coaching. Now, I've seen hundreds of candidates land jobs with these certifications and I'll break down the real differences so you don't waste your time or your money. By the end of this video, you'll know which certification employers value more in 2025, the costs, the difficulty and the time to complete each, and which one is right for you in your career goals. Stick around to the end because I'll also share my recruiter's verdict, which one I'd choose if I was starting fresh today. So let's get into it. Now let's talk about what each certificate is, the basics. Now, the CompTIA Security Plus, it's an industry staple. Been around, it feels like forever. It's been around for over 20 years. It's vendor neutral, globally recognized, and it covers core security fundamentals. So think networks, think threats, think cryptography, think incident response, all of these fundamentals of cybersecurity. And also think of it as your security foundation if you're looking to get into this field. You then have the Google Cybersecurity Certificate. Now, this is much newer, but it is rapidly growing. It's fully online via Coursera, and it's around 39 US dollars per month. Now, it is more hands-on. It features tools like Seams, Python Basics, and SQL inquiries, and it's geared towards getting you job ready for entry-level SOC analyst type role. So one is the more traditional gold standard, and the other is the modern ready, job ready option. So moving on to section two, cost and time. So let's talk about money and time because both really matter. And it might be something that you're considering if you're currently sitting there weighing up which one to do next. Now the security plus, the exam fee at time of filming is 404 US dollars, plus training or study materials, maybe an extra two to $500 extra. So average prep time is around three to four months part-time study. Now this does vary, depends on how much time you can put in, but on average, this is what I see. Now it's important I say that at the time of filming this, you can receive a discount for the Security Plus after completing the Google Cyber Security Certification. So just bear that in mind. Okay, so the Google Cyber Security Cert. Now this is a subscription model. It's around 39 US dollars per month at the time of filming. Most students I see finish between four and six months. So total cost is around $250. So on paper, Google does look cheaper, but does cheaper mean better? Not always, and here's why. That brings us on to recognition with employers. So this is the big one, recognition. If you're looking to get a job, you want to make sure that you stand out to hiring managers and which one of these makes a difference let's talk about it the security plus has instant name recognition with hiring managers i can't tell you how many times i've seen it as a minimum requirement on job ads and that is not to be sniffed at so once again security plus is so well known. The Google cybersecurity is growing fast, but it's and it's backed by a big name, but not every hiring manager knows it yet, especially outside the US. And I can tell you that's true. Most of them do, but I still do come across occasionally where hiring managers ask me more about the Google cybersecurity. So that's also important to know. So here's the reality. If you apply for a SOC analyst or entry-level cyber role, security blah the box instantly. Now the Google certification might still need a little explanation in your CV or in an interview. Having said that, it is getting much better well known. Okay, all that being said, Google does shine in one area, which we'll cover next. And that brings us to section four, skills and job readiness. So this is where some say the Google Cyber Security Certification really stands out. Why do I say that? Well, it teaches you tools you'll actually use like Splunk, Seams, Incident Reporting, Python Basics. It is more practical with labs and case studies. And it's great if you want to show employers you can do the job from day one. Now, Security Plus, on the other hand, is more theory heavy. Now it's fantastic for building a foundation, but you could argue it's less hands-on. Employers know you understand the concepts, but you will likely need on the job training to apply them. So if you're after day one job readiness, you could argue that Google has an edge, but there's still one major factor left. And that brings us on to the next section, which is career progression. So let's talk long-term career progression. Security Plus opens the door to higher level CompTIA certifications in the future, such as the CYSA Plus. I've actually just had a video last week on this. So if you haven't checked that out, click the link in the description description and you'll better see that. And the Security Plus is often a gateway to CISSP, which will come later on in your career if you choose to go down that route. Now, the Google certification, currently a standalone program, great for entry level, but not really recognized as a stepping stone to advanced certification. So if you're thinking about a five year plus cybersecurity career, the Security Plus builds a stronger ladder there. But if you just want to land your first role quickly and get hands on, Google may be a faster win. All right, moving on to section six, salaries and job outlets. So in 2025, here's what the numbers look like. CompTIA Security Plus holders, entry level jobs like security analysts, SOC analysts, junior pen 
tester. Salaries in the US typically range from 60 to 85,000 and in Australia around the 70 to 110k mark, which is pretty good for entry level. Now the Google cert holders, mostly SOC analysts or cybersecurity support roles. Salaries are similar, but roles are more often limited to entry level. Now, both these certifications can help you break into cyber, but one is more flexible over time. And that brings me to section seven, my verdict as a recruit. Which one should you choose? Well, firstly, I'll say this. If you want long-term recognition, credibility, and a foundation to build on, go for the CompTIA Security Plus. If you want a cheaper, faster, hands-on route into entry-level job, you could argue you should go for the Google Cyber Security Certificate. Now, if you want my honest opinion, I think you must get the CompTIA Security Plus. Now, if you choose to get the Google alongside that, even better. In fact, some of the best candidates I've seen recently have got both. It's becoming much more prominent to do that. As much as it's hard to give a definitive answer. What I would say is that the Security Plus is so prominent in today's cybersecurity world. It's what hiring managers look for for entry-level roles, and it is the gold standard. So I do honestly think you should go for that one. Having said that, if you've got time in your hands and you want to do multiple certifications, I would do the Google Cybersecurity, then the Security Plus. And also I would look at doing the CompTIA Network Plus. Now I've got videos I've done that cover my roadmap, what I would do if I was looking to get into cybersecurity. So check those out and it'll go for it. But in terms of both of these, if you had to push me and you said, Luke, which one should I do? I can only do one. I would choose the CompTIA Security Plus. So there you have it. Security Plus versus the Google Cyber Security in 2025. Now, I hope you found this helpful. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you did. I put out new videos every week to help you break into cybersecurity and ace your career. And if you want my recruiter's insight in helping land a job, check out the link in the description for one-on-one -on -one coaching or grab my free newsletter, The Career Compass, for more tips. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep leveling up your career. I'll see you all in the next one.